Hello, and welcome to the Knowledge Box, where today we're going to cover the topic of being a boss is also being a leader. A boss is supposed to lead people, plan, or a situation. A boss is going to produce. That's what a boss does. A boss does not just tell people what to do. A boss produces results. A boss will make sure the job is done. People choose to follow a boss. It's plain and simple. They choose to follow this boss. They choose to have this person lead them because through this person, things get better. So they know that their option or best option to get what they need or to have a better situation is to deal with the person that is actually going to put forth the effort for everything to be better, which is the boss. Having money or a position in a company makes you an employee in the company, but not a leader to the people. It's a lot of times it's some people that get into their head, I made it as a supervisor, I'm a manager. You are an employee that is in a position that has employees that are in positions below you. That's what you are until you actually prove to those people that you're going to have their best interest at heart and they choose to follow you and choose to be behind you then only then will have you become a true leader so if you understand that you have to earn the right to lead people this is not something that is just handed to you. You have to earn the right to be a leader. People have to see you doing what you are supposed to do as the leader, showing that you have their interest at heart and not just your own and aren't just going to use them to get yourself into a better position. When you know that you have to earn that right, then that means that you also know that the people must believe that if you succeed, they succeed. They have to believe that. They have to believe that if you win, as the children did at Little League, you get a pizza party. There has to be a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You're asking people to put in their time, their effort, their work for you to be successful and to move forward. You have to do this in order to prove to people you are a leader. And only then will you be able to be chosen. Leaders are forged through the experiences and education they are followed because the people feel they will use these attributes for the people's benefit. That means you will put forth the effort to be a leader with your experience and knowledge that you've gained and use it for the people. You will help the people. You will make sure that the people have what they need to have in order for whatever plans y'all are working on, whatever mission you're on to be successful. people have to believe in you and the people have to choose you in order for you to be a leader thank you for enjoying another episode of the knowledge box subscribe like and share so that you can get more of this content and so that more people can get the understanding that you're getting here today